So I just showed you some weanlings and this is what they look at a year old. Isn't this amazing? I want to get me a buckskin someday from Martin's Quarter Horses. Look at that. So that's just... Well, everybody, the day has arrived. You'd think I'd be sad to have 66 and Peaches leave the farm, but I'm happy about where both of them are going. So come along and let's, let's go on this trip together. So I've enlisted Blake's help real quick before he doesn't get to go with me. He's got to stay for football practice. But we're gonna put Peaches in the front and 66 in the back. And uh, those of you that watch our channel for a while know where Peaches is going, but I'll remind you as we go along. And 66 is headed up to Bayfield, Colorado to be leased by Martin's Quarter Horses for the next two years and be exposed to their beautiful mares. And so I get to take you up there and show you their beautiful horses. Blake's about got Peaches haltered and we'll load her up first. Thanks bud, go ahead and load her in the front. And, that, and then we'll uh, shut the divider gate and we'll put 66 in back. She's a sweetheart, we're gonna miss her. So I guess now's as good a time as any to remind you, Peaches is headed to Florida. To Michael, the same one that bought Miss 66. Peaches, Peaches' little sister. And so he's gonna have both, they're half sisters. They're both out of the same mare. And Miss 66 is a daughter of 66. Peaches here is in fall to 66. So anyway, he's gonna have some nice farm on Route 66, farm on Route 66 horses in Florida. She's really muddy, but I'll take a brush along and we'll brush her off, so. I can't wait to follow the progress of these horses as they head to Florida. I may show you a few of the pictures Michael sent me of Miss 66, the little sister, and of his barn that he's been building for these horses. They're gonna be in an amazing environment. And I can't wait to, to see Peaches have a baby in the spring out of 66. And anyway, it'll be fun to follow that process. So Michael, they're headed your way. And now we're gonna load 66. Sorry, I got the sun in my eyes, but we're gonna load 66 and get him on the trailer. And then I'm gonna head out to Bayfield, Colorado. He sure is looking good. He's a beautiful boy. Oh. I'd be sad he was going if he wasn't gonna go breed some of the be most beautiful mares in the country. Uh, yeah. Oh. Blake doesn't want him to act like a stud. There you go, boy. Good job. He is so nice to handle, even as a stallion. But I'm taking them both to Bayfield, Colorado because Michael has bought two of the Martin Quarter Horse babies and they are going with Peaches to Florida. So, all right, thank you, Blake. Good luck in practice and I'll be back by tomorrow. Sounds good, drive safe. All right, love you, love you bud. Well, I just filled up. $141.70. These gas prices are gonna kill us. Anyway, $4.19 a gallon. What's it like where you're at? Well guys, we've arrived in Bayfield. I picked up a friend and his daughter and granddaughter because they wanted to come see these beautiful horses. But we've arrived in Bayfield at Martin's Quarter Horses and we're gonna unload 
66 and Peach is here. And then I'm gonna show you some of the most beautiful horses in the country. Well, I think they're gonna be happy here. Of course, Peaches is headed to Florida and 66 will stay here. So here's the dad to gold 66. Isn't he beautiful? Wiley, I think is what they call him. We came over here to Tracy's place. Tracy is getting some of these colts ready to go to Florida and has been halter training them. But I just wanted to show you what some of these babies look like when they're weaned. So this is a yearling, mm, no. or not yearling, just a weanling. A weanling. That's headed to Florida. So Michael, this is one of your babies. Is this a colt or a filly? It's a filly. Awesome. And this one's going also to, yeah. to Florida. <laughs> So I just showed you some weanlings and this is what they look at a year old. Isn't this amazing? I want to get me a buckskin someday for Martin's quarter horses. Look at that. So that's just a yearling. And then this one's another yearling, but this one's not quite as old, right? Wasn't that a, a fall baby? Yeah, he sucked all winter. He was a fall baby. So I guess he's a true year right now. And this buckskin's a 18 month old. If you want to get one of the nicest horses ever, reach out to Martin's Quarter Horses 
And you can even reserve a Martin Quarter Horse 66 combo if you uh, want to contact them and put down a deposit. I think you can see how nice the horses these are. And I can't wait for 66 to be involved in their breeding program. So let me uh, kind of interview Susie for just a second. And, and I'm going to call it, call it good. I'm going to head back home. So Susie, tell us kind of a little bit about your bloodlines. What bloodlines do you guys specialize in? And what makes you excited about this opportunity we have going together? The horse we call LB, he's a, a line bred, well not line bred, but 43% Pogoeno. His name is Poco Gold Merlin. And he's the daddy of this buckskin colt. And that's the across the way over there. So he's a daddy to this one and the one across the way. And most of our Palomino mares are either daughters or granddaughters of, of Berlin and a full brother that we had before him. And then we've got the Wileywood horse, which you call Wiley. It's the grandson of Wileywood out of a cowboy. Uh, Snippy's Cowboy, I believe is the name, on the bottom side, black mare. Black came out of Nebraska. And uh, we been very happy with the colts that we've been getting by them and i guess other folks like alan are too <laughs> <laughs> i'm super happy and i can't wait to keep working with you so so look up uh, martin's quarter horses and we'll leave a phone number for you to call and check out their website and uh maybe you can enjoy one of these beautiful babies crossed on our 66 stallion we'll start breeding some black kittlewood daughters kittlewood bred daughters to uh 66 in the spring and they'll be mostly roan we do believe and well they so should be guaranteed tuned. roan we're hoping uh, for stay some blue roans right yep stay tuned <laughs> all right sounds great packed up my bags last night waited for morning light to shine Leaving this town, I'm leaving all of this behind. I walk to the station now. They say that my head is in the clouds. I'm leaving this place, I'm leaving my old ways behind. All of my life, I felt some. Dreams were waiting right outside 